My family came from Sulmona, Italy, which is in the Abruzzo region. And I'm the first generation to actually grow up in the United States from being born here. The early influence probably would have been my grandfather. So many people had so much respect for him. He would talk to people in a very calm voice, but they got the message that when he spoke, it was very important. He had that presence. When I have tough questions, I'd actually sit down with him, and he never really told me exactly what to do. He would challenge me on what I was doing. Did you look at this? Did you ask this? What's your thought? And in the end, I'd walk away and I actually thought I solved the problem. And that's how good he was at what he did. And I think I took on a lot of those traits from my grandfather. I remember when I got sworn in as the Auditor General, it was in the Supreme Court, and I got to speak at the end. My grandfather was alive at the time, sitting in the front row. And the first thing I said to him in front of everyone, I understand how important our name is to you. And I promise you, I'll never do anything to ruin our name. I'll live a life of high integrity. And I have ever since then. You know, if you look at what's happening in our economy today, there are so many people nervous about what's going on. They don't trust the government. They don't trust the world. They don't trust business. They're looking for someone to trust. To me, you can always trust a CPA because our foundation is based on trust and, and based on integrity. So if you live that every day and you have integrity, unquestionable values, people will believe in what you have to say. And just like my grandfather, to have that presence and people know you can go to this person because he's going to tell you the truth. He's going to tell you what you need to hear, not what you want to hear. I have always found out that if you thought about your core values right before you did an action, that that would help you make the right decision. So where are you gonna put it? Are you gonna write it in your notebook? Are you gonna put it in your briefcase? It may not always be with you, but your business cards are always with you. So I don't know, what happened? I just turned the business card over. It's not an exotic story. I turned the business card over and I said, hey, why don't we just put it right on the back of here? Because I knew that every day you're touching your business card, you're handing it to someone, you're taking it out. So that's the place. How many of you have a business card in your wallet or a pocket? Let me tell you about mine. It has and you know, when I started doing it in my presentations, people would always come up to me and say, that's a great idea. So I knew that they were paying attention to it. And I said, that's what I'm trying to do. Get people to pay attention to having an unwavering set of core values. And as most people know, I always talk about it when I give it to someone. I said, and you can call me on these anytime you want. My number's on the other side. So I want them to focus on the core values as opposed to my name and my phone number. So if you keep in mind every single day, no matter what you're doing, your core values, and if you have trouble making a decision, just think to yourself, what I'm going to do, is it in alignment with my core values or is it in violation of my core values? And you make the right decision every single day. I'd have to say that one of the things that really helps me in my career is um, the discipline that I've learned from the martial arts. But you realize that all that practice over and over again, keeping your skills sharp, all of that, that transfers into your business life too. You learn through taking Tai Chi, more of that give and take, absorbing and then pushing back. Well, that really taught me about listening more and then giving my opinion and listening more and giving your opinion. But I have to say, it's one of the great points in my life. It really helped to make me a disciplined person, probably helped me to pass the CPA exam because I didn't give up. It helped me to be a success at what I'm doing because I just don't give up. If I was to talk about my source of strength, it would start out with my family, starting with my wife, Kathy. She is my critic who will challenge me on whatever it is I'm doing. Do you want these like that or do you want me to break the yolk? I'm gonna take it. Yeah? Okay, ready? Whoa! <laughs> 
That was awesome. <laughs> all the time concerned about helping me to be a success. She's really been my biggest supporter and the, the best partner I could ever ask for in the world. So it starts there. She wants me to be a success. I want her to be a success. And that's what you can do when you have a great relationship. You can tell people what they need to hear, not what they want to hear, because we trust each other. It goes all the way through, family, business, everything else, to have that, those kind of values. But when you can have a relationship with your spouse, you can be totally open about what's going on, it can only lead to success. First time I've ever been to India, and it was a great opportunity to go there. First time the chairman of the AICPA has ever been to meet with the leadership. And it was nice because we were able to show something different that they were accustomed to, to an American business person. We met with high-level government officials like the Comptroller General of India, the Secretary of Commerce, Secretary of Labor. In all those conversations, it wasn't just a meet and greet. There was a long period of time we got to spend with each one to talk about the relationship of the AICPA and the accountability profession in the United States working in the future with the country of India. And so I know we set the foundation for long-term growth, and there'll be many things that both countries can leverage upon that experience that lead both of us on a pathway to success. The highlight is really the young chartered accountants and the students because that's what brings a smile to me. That's the future of the world. And so to see them and what they're looking forward to. And in the beginning, they were nervous about what to say. And you could tell by the end of the eight days, they knew they could ask me whatever they wanted. I went into the conference to do my presentation. And as I was walking in with Kathy, this individual came walking out and said, you don't know me, but I know you. He said, I saw your speech on YouTube and I read your speech about your business card. I want you to know that I came back and I changed the business cards in my accounting firm. They all have your core values on the back of the business card. I was blown away by this. It was like an incredible thing. One of the highlights this year of my chairmanship absolutely is the Leadership Academy. I actually approached the AICPA if we could take on this role, is I really do believe in this holistic approach to our profession. But I was always concerned with my experience as the Auditor General is who's there to help teach leadership skills. We're a professional organization. We're concerned about the next generation and giving them the skills so that they can be on that pathway to success. Um, if, if you all agreed on anything to had to do with the way this profession was going to be conducted going forward. There would be nothing stopping you. you know? I mean, you look around this room and you think about the range of perspectives here and what you share. Well, we taught them those things about how to have a courageous conversation, telling people what they need to hear, not what they want to hear. We taught them how to make decisions. But you know, they are going to be a success. And I told them the way I know it will truly be a success is down the road when I look around at a council meeting and they're part of council, and eventually they have one of them or many of them are the chairman of the AICPA in the future. I'd be so proud of that. It'd be a wonderful thing.